Hey everyone, welcome to the next Pi game tutorial. Uh, in this one, we're going to get to work on the live system. So, when we pull up our game here, uh, oh, sorry, let me actually change this. I was messing around with this Pi game no frame to get rid of the the window at the top of the screen with the, with, you can do Pi game dot no frame when you create your display and it gets rid of the uh, minimize and X buttons and stuff like that. I'm just going to take that off real quick. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put probably like right here in the middle of the screen uh, a little icon of a ship and have it say like times three like you have three lives and then when you obviously lose enough health it'll subtract one from the lives counter and the way I want to do that is I want to have a blank surface and then I'm going to draw an image to that surface of the ship and then I'm going to render some font for the X3 or times number of lives to the uh, to the surface as well. So let's get started on that. So I want to make an object called um, I'll just call it lives. And the HUD is going to own this object as well. Uh, and I'll show you that once we once we get there. But so let's import Pi game, uh, import constants as C. Uh, class, it's going to be called lives, and it's going to inherit from our sprite object. Uh, let me adjust my keyboard here. All right, uh, so what do we need in order to make the lives uh, the lives icon? Uh, we really just need one thing, and that's the number of lives. Um, so we'll go ahead and pass in uh, the number live so it knows how to, how to actually write the correct number down. So we'll make a variable called self number of lives equals number of lives. Uh, then we actually need to make a couple surfaces. We're going to need like the blank template, even though it's, it's going to be a transparent uh, surface that you're not going to see. It's going to be kind of like a square that's invisible that's going to contain another surface of the image of the ship and another surface that is the render of the font and then that whole surface we will put on the HUD. So I'm just going to call it like canvas and that's our blank canvas. So self.canvas well, actually let's do this first. Let's make a let's make a width variable and we'll just say I'm going to say 200 for right now. We can toy with these numbers later. Uh, and the height can be, how big is our HUD? Our HUD was, um, it's actually the size of the image, uh, HUD.py. I can't remember exactly how big I made the the, the image for the HUD, but it it doesn't matter. Uh, we can just put an arbitrary number in there right now. So let's, do, let's just do 100. And that might be way too big, but oh well, we can fix it later. Um, so I'm going to do self.image equals, or sorry, self.canvas, which is our blank canvas, which is going to be a pie game surface, and it'll be the width and height, which we'll throw into this size variable. Um, so we got a canvas that has nothing in it. Um, now by default, I think the canvas is black, it's not transparent. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that right now, but if it is black, we'll do something to actually make it transparent later. Um, then we also need the uh, ship image, which is going to be pygame.image.load. We're going to load an image of our ship, which I believe I called ship.png. Yep. Dot convert alpha. And we also want to scale it up. I'm only going to scale it up twice, so it'll be a little bit smaller than the actual ship on our screen. Uh, so self dot uh, ship image equals pygame dot image or pygame dot transform dot scale. We're gonna scale the ship image, and what are we gonna scale it by? Self dot ship image dot get width multiplied by two, and self dot ship image dot get height multiplied by two. So that's our ship image. Um, then we want to put the actual ship image on the blank canvas. So I'm going to do self.canvas.blit. Now, uh, I don't think I've done blit yet in this tutorial, but blit 
just means you're going to put something, uh, one surface on another surface. So if the canvas does its blit method, it means you're blitting something to the canvas and you pass in what you're blitting onto the canvas. So we're going to blit the self.ship image to the canvas. Uh, and then what are the coordinates you're blitting it to? And for right now, I'm going to put 0, 0, and we're going to tweak those later. But right now, it's just the ships going into the top left corner of the canvas. Um, and you actually, actually, you know what? We can probably... No, we'll come back to that later. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is get a font um, object. So self.font equals pygame.font.font .font, and we're just going to use we're going to pass in none so it'll use the default font for python or pygame and then the size of the font which what did we do on our score what was the size of that font 24 so we did self.font size equals 24 we'll do the same thing let's go to our lives.py and we'll pass in self.font size. And then we'll do uh, self dot uh, lives counter. And this will be the actual uh, number of lives that's rendered to a surface. So we'll do self.font.render. And what's the text you're wanting to render? I'm actually going to do a format string. And it's going to be an X. And then we'll put the variable self dot number of lives. Um, so that's the actual font portion. And it also wants a couple more uh, parameters here. So is it anti alias? I'm going to put no. Uh, what color do you want it? We'll do self dot font color, which I haven't made yet, but we'll make one in a second. And then background, which is false. We just want it to be transparent. So let's get that font color in here, and I'll probably just make it white like the uh, score. All right, so now we want to do self.canvas.blit, and we want to blit the font, uh, or sorry, the lives counter. And we're also going to put that in 0, 0 right now. And what it's going to do, it's going to put both the ship image and the font kind of overlapping each other, but we're going to tweak these numbers later to fix that. Um, but what I was thinking, the canvas is ultimately the image that, remember how all sprites need a, they have to have an image variable. That is what is going to represent the current image that's shown on the screen. And technically it's this canvas, so I don't need to call it canvas. Let's just make this the image. So everywhere where I use canvas, I'm just changing that to image because that's ultimately the image that's going to be shown. Um, and then we'll do an update method which we'll pass on for right now. And remember, I always give all my sprites a, uh, we have to get the rect attribute. So self.rect equals self.image.getRect and self.velocity x equals zero and self.velocity y equals zero. We're not using the velocity for this thing, but it's just habit for me to always give sprites a velocity in case you wanna write some code where you can move it around on the screen at some point. Um, and then we're also gonna give a update number of lives method which uh, or actually we'll just call it uh, decrement life so the life value can go down so every time this is called it will subtract one from lives uh, self dot number of lives equals uh, minus equals one there's some other code we got to write right in there in a second but I'll get to that later um, so right now, let's just see if we can add this to the HUD and get it to show up on the screen. Even though it's going to look kind of janky, uh, we'll, we'll get that fixed. Um, so let's go to our HUD. And at the top, we need to do from lives import lives. And how do we want to do this? Um, we can just say it's part of the icons group, like it's an icon representing your lives. Um, self dot lives equals lives and this is going to require the number of lives uh, which because this requires the number of lives I'm going to have to when the player uh, is created he has to pass in his HP and lives into this HUD and the HUD will in turn pass the number of lives into the self.lives uh, object right here 
So right here where I passed in HP, I'm going to do number of lives. And then on the player object, uh, which was the ship, uh, here's our self.lives variable. So let's go ahead and put that up here with the HP and also pass that into our HUD. There we go. Uh, so now let's go back to our HUD and where we have our lives right here, we can add that to the icons group. So self.icons group.add uh, self.lives object. And the icons group should all, it is automatically running its update function inside the HUD's update function. And the main function, or sorry, the main file runs the icons group draw function. So it should draw it to the screen now. It's probably gonna look messed up though. Yeah, see, it's working. I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually making a really big black box. Uh, I want it smaller than that. And we need to tweak <clears throat> where the ship shows up and the numbers on inside the black box. So let's go to lives. Where'd I make it? Uh, so I don't need it to be 200. It looked like it only needed to be like 50. And the height only needed to be like 50. Let's just see how big that box is now. Uh, so the height only needs to be about 40 probably. And the width actually probably needs to be about 80. Should work. Yeah, that'll work perfect. But now what we need to do, I need to get, and I don't know how if that's showing up well on the screen, um, but I can actually see the black box that's the, the actual image, the whole image itself. Um, I'm eventually gonna make that transparent, but right now I'm just wanting to see how big it is. Um, so I'm gonna move that X3 around a bit. Uh, let's go to lives. Um, so where did we make the font? So lives counter. Uh, so when we blit the lives counter, we want to blit it probably. Uh, how wide is it? It's 80. So let's blit it 40 and then 10. Let's see where this shows up now. Yeah. See, now you can say it has the ship and then times three. Um, so let's make that black background transparent real quick. So right where we made the self.image uh, equals a pie game surface, uh, we need to also do self.image.set alpha. And we can actually set, I think zero is fully transparent and 255 is opaque. Oh, so actually that's doing it for the entire uh, surface. We don't want that. We just want, um, we, we want the, uh, it's doing it for everything that's on that surface. So we just needed to do it for the black background. So there's a way to do that. Give me one second and I'll figure out, uh, I'll come back when I have that set up because I actually forgot how to do that. Okay, uh, so I'm back. Um, so the way we're gonna do this, uh, we, we actually need to set a color key up for the, um, the, the surface. So right now I'm gonna show you, if I make the background color of the game, if I make it something gray to where we can actually see what I'm talking about, the entire image, the background's black, and we need to make that transparent. Um, and unfortunately, if I do like set alpha, it sets the transparency of the entire image, so you can't see the ship or the font. Um, so what we can, oh, whoops. So what we can do is set a color key, which will say, hey, every pixel that's this one color, make that transparent. I'm gonna make it black, because the ship or the font doesn't have any black in it. So to do that, if we go back to lives, right after we created the image here i can do self.image.set color key and you just pass in the color that you want to be transparent and it has to be a tuple so we'll do zero 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 and now it should be all black and that both that uh, ship image and the font are one image grouped together and i can move them around the screen and place them here on the hud so now let's get them on the hud um so uh, we'll do that on the HUD object just because we can. So we'll do self 
uh, right where we make the lives object, self.lives.rect.x equals, we'll set it to something like 200, and self.lives.rect.y equals c.displayheight uh, minus, I don't know, we'll say 50. See how this looks. All right, so it's down there. But I want to move it over to the right, maybe 30 pixels and down 10 pixels. So try 230 and 40 on that. There you go. That's perfect. Um, so this video is running kind of long, so I'll probably break it up. The next video will actually get the every time my HP reaches zero, I'll uh, subtract a life. And actually, let me set the background back, which I think it was... 0015 Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks good. Um Yeah, so the next one we'll actually get it working. We'll have it where when my health reaches 0, uh it'll subtract one from the lives and then eventually when the lives get to 0, I'll have your ship go away from the screen and it shows the game over. All right, see you guys in the next video.